here for another one. We got Pegasus against Recon. Recon, who came a little short in the Grand Finals at Red Bull Wololo, looking to make his way back to the Grand Finals here, right? So we'll see if he's able to do so against Pegasus. Pegasus has been playing super well recently, and we have our first game on Blue Lagoon. We got Zeus for Pegasus and Aranas for Recon. Boy, what are you thinking about this draft when you look at it? I see a lot of great gods for Pegasus. I mean, what I'm thinking about right now is Pegasus didn't compete in Red Bull Wallala. This is his first S tier for Retold. And Pegasus, he is a mechanical god when it comes to age of mythology. He's always been one of those players who's just on that level. He, he's comparable to Vortex, in my opinion, in terms of just what he's able to do with his APM, what he's able to do with those units. But Recon. He's like that slow, methodical player. He, he can play an aggressive game if, if he needs to, but he likes to play that, at least it seems like it, he likes to play that slow game, take it as, uh, take the, the punches as they come, just make sure that he's got all of those, uh, th those weaknesses addressed before he makes his big move. Draft-wise, it kind of looks like he's playing into that. He's got the defense from Hades. He's got Isis, another kind of i mean it's kind of a timing attack goal but it also nice can also be played in a defensive way aranos gets those sky passages to lock everything down to me it does seem like he's going in a direction to play maybe into his strengths and, and away from pegasus's strengths here but pegasus's draft looks scary to not go too much into it he is a zeus main at his at his core and he gets his Zeus and he picks it straight away and he gets it against Aranos. Aranos is a different beast in retail, but Pegasus knows this matchup inside and out, Winston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would expect so as well, right? And then on the back of that, Freyr, Thor, Gaia, and Rot, like I feel like those are some of the best eco sims right now in the game, right? And yeah. that's gonna be really interesting onto some of these maps, right? We have Alfine already on the map. We have Marsh. So Things where this might play Karlaga as well. You mm. could see some of these gods as well. Tundra though, like we'll, we'll see what he's going to end up playing there. I mean, that's where maybe Recon could use Odin and feel very comfortable. Mm. So we'll see. I, I'm not exactly sure how this draft is going to pan out, but oh boy, I'm sure we're going to get some fireworks. Yeah, I, I I don't even know what I pick right now. When I look at the drafts, I like to go in and try and. If I was these players, who would I pick on what map? You've got Marsh. This one, huge hunt map. What, did you go Thor? Did you go Frere? You see your opponent's got Loki. And maybe you don't go in for North there because Loki's there. So I go Ra. Uh, you got Alfheim. Do I go Frere there? Do I go Ra? If I'm Recon, what do I pick? The Isis, I guess. Uh, yeah. So you got Tundra. Obviously, Odin's the god there. But I want to counter the Odin. So do I have to save my Ra for Tundra here? So I can have like that answer that we've seen Ra win and lose on that map in this first round in different uh, in different mm -hmm. matchups so there's there's so much kind of maybe too much thought process to like kind of come up with something and in the end you just throw your arms up in the air and just go all right i'm just gonna pick this god let's see what happens yeah <laughs> right at some point you have to do it especially in these like in a larger series like a bow five or kind of like where there's it's just like i feel like a bow five is just the perfect amount where it's just like there's too many options <laughs> in yeah. my opinion but i definitely know that when you're really thinking about it when you really sit down and really try and math it out there can be ways to gain advantages in the draft and we'll see if recon's practice against the mista pays off here but pegasus on his iconic zeus right we'll see if it's we'll see if it is what it is we got blue lagoon yeah and i guess we're going to be getting going very very shortly it's all going to come down to can you restrict the sky passage usage yeah you don't have to get too aggressive you can play a slow game here with zeus and, and find a win but you do need to restrict that sky those villagers getting all over the map you can't have that one all right we're going to be getting this game going yep. very very well right away as we see the Zeus in the left side of the map. Pegasus piloting this one. He's already starting off with a little bit of early game hurting. Doesn't go the best for him, oh, though. No. The giraffes are kind of dying all over the place. Recon on the right side of the map. He's not going to need to do any of that. He's got no drop-off problems. He's got those citizens, and he has played as Aranos. Yeah, I'm we'll have to see. Like you said, there's 
there's the opportunity for sky passages with the Muranos to try and be really greedy on these aggressive or oddly placed hunts. There does seem to be a not a ton of hunt on the south side of this map, right? Like looking at the mini map, it's mostly in the middle here. So we'll see how that pans out. Got lots of options. I have to ask, do you ever yep. bolt the Caladria? Do you ever do it? Uh, or do you it feels never do it? so bad, doesn't it? feels it? so like, bad. But like, I'm just saying. I, yes, no, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> just it's, I, 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 let me go on my quick rant right now. The most oh, frustrating thing, the most frustrating thing in the game is playing against Uranus right now from yeah. uh, as, as Greek. Why? Because you get two heroes in the classical age to deal with those Caladria mm -hmm. and a player who controls the Caladria at a high level you can't touch them. They just dodge the arrows. They just dodge, dodge, dodge. And then they retreat back. And they come back, kill a unit. You target them down immediately. They dodge. And then you cry when you just can't kill anything. Anyways, that's my rant over. Hope you enjoyed it. So maybe, I yes, I'm going to start bolting saying, them from now on. I feel on. like if you just bolt it immediately, you just, like, buy yourself a moment <laughs> to, like, yep. think without getting raided. Especially if it's paired with Terma. It's just, like... We saw it in the Vortex Grass game, right? It's just like, it's in your face the whole time. I know it's not a good value play. I know there's better ways to use Bolt. But like, just my mental is just so much cleaner and sounder with the Cladria off the board for just like a little bit of time, right? Just get rid of it all you need. for a few moments, please. <laughs> but I want to point out one thing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are seeing Athena and there's two villages on the temple right now for Pegasus. Minotaur. Are we going to see some Minotaur action coming forward? I hope so. One of the best things about mythology is the mythology and get those minotaurs out and start causing some havoc. Oceanus for Pegasus, I uh, saw for Recon, excuse me. And I mean, there's no surprises. He wants those and he's going to make those Caladria. Oh, well, I'm excited. Yeah, it feels tricky. I mean, there are two. Like, he's still sticking with the two. He didn't build a house, right? But still two bills gathering favor. So we'll see what that ends up being an investment into. I think you might be right. At least another one, right? Surely. And the upgrade, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot to there's a lot to grab. But the thing is, Minotaurs cost gold, so you can build Let's them up go. to this mass. You you can build them up to this mass, and if you just rush straight for the mass, then as long as you you say bolt, not for a Caladria, but for the heroes that get converted yeah, here. This is. This is a great way to go to kick the game off with. But also, I'm not seeing a military building coming through here. Pegasus is already putting pressure onto Recon, but Recon's going to be here with a Caladria to heal this one up. It was a pretty quick advance time from Pegasus, so he can't really do a whole lot with his resources at the moment. They're tied up with those Minotaurs, but the Minotaur's rushing straight into Recon's base. He's got no answer for them just yet. And we do see the bolt of the Caladria! He just wants to get rid of it. I'm telling you, you just want it off the board. You don't want it in your face. You don't want it doing stuff. And I think it's going to be really hard now because if you're in the position of recon, do you just train another one? Like, it's so valuable here. Do you just outright train another Caladria? He gets the Caladria. He gets the Hero Mamillo out. And this Hero Mamillo is... It's going to last for a while here. And now there's no bolt. He's also got the, <laughs> there's no bolt anymore. And oh, that Minotaur... Man. There's two Minotaurs, though, running around. You've only got one Mamillo hero. Pegasus, he is going for broke right now with this uh, aggression. He's also getting Labyrinth of Minos out. Or wants to get it out as fast as he possibly can. That's going to make those Minotaurs incredibly tough to deal with. There's also a Restoration if he wants to use it. I'm sure he's looking to do that. And he's still getting value from this. So many idle citizens, Winston. I, I mean, I mean, this seems like it's working at least, at least in the short term, right? It's these yep. these minotaurs have definitely paid for their value, and on the back side of this, what are we seeing? I don't know, but this, this, the, the villagers just haven't been gathering. He's got recon has got no resources. What? <laughs> sure, like yeah, surely Vegas is happy people. right now. He's yeah, about now to get we just need a that. comfortable transition, right? Like, yep. I think that's... Oh, the Minotaur is actually going to get away. I, I love Labyrinth of Minos. This technology is so fun. Look at him. He's just running. It's just... Shuffle. Uh, he's going to get caught. Maybe. I love the lean. It's like a power stance, right? Oh, oh. 
Oh. Is there a... Oh, he's not going to get out. Oh. I, was like, is... I thought for a moment there, is yeah, there a there's... world where where Pegasus gets Apollo and just leaves that... Heals it. Base and then heals it back up to full HP with Temple of Feeling? Alas. So Hoplites. Resto's down. Hoplites. Your aggression is kind of over. Yep. The god powers are still available for recon. You did force a, a retraining. You forced a lot of idle time, a lot of damage. But yep. there's no second TC on the back of this from Pegasus yet. Right? Obviously, right? He, he couldn't afford it. He's making hoplites into Mermelo, right? It, it's okay. He's on berries. Like, what? what's the play here for Pegasus at this point? What's your follow-up? He's He's got... He's got the 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 Minotaur upgrade, so whatever follow up it is is going to be include. more Minotaur. You make you get you put that many resources into an upgrade, you're gonna uh, you're gonna get more. But Recon, he's got the Collider. He's going to be slowing those hoplites out. You can't really leave your base right now with those units out because the Mermilla are just going to chase them down, hunt them down, and any little bits of loss here, that's a big deal. I think one thing I'm surprised. In a, in a way here, I'm a little bit surprised. But Recon, even though he had all those idle citizens, he didn't lose any. Pegasus was able yeah, to get a great single micro, villager right? kill. Yeah, not a single the, villager he, kill. He opted into manners, he opted into outposts. He yeah. was able to keep everything like kind of flowing. It like obviously not working optimally. But your opponent did kind of all in for that rush. You you go all in on the gold, you have way too many on gold, you're not really macroing into ecotex. It's just this big upgrade and you use Resto and Bolt for that attack. For what, right? Like, yep. it, in the end, are you ahead in resources here? Like, it's equal. Oh, it's it's somewhat, it's somewhat clear. There we sit, the, oh, the most annoying thing in the world. God, God. Calatria. <laughs> There's but Calatria, all right. What Recon's doing, and I love this, is he's heroizing nearly every single one of his Mermilla. You get so much favor playing as Ravanos because you get that little bit of extra line of sight on your units and that applies onto those oracles to get them a little bit more favor income. And what he's doing is every single Mermilla that comes out, that's a hero Mermilla. And not only does this answer the Minotaurs, but it also gives those Mermilla more opportunity to stay alive, more HP. You can see a Minotaur getting sniped down here with the Pacify from those Caladria, and the Caladria can just heal them back up, burst heal when needed, and... Pegasus, how does he deal with this? He just needs a ton of hoplites out. Ooh, the shockwave right on top of the carnivora again. Oh boy. This just isn't looking good for Pegasus now. This is, this is so gonna be so many coming on to Pegasus' units. You know, yeah, it's tough, it's tough, it's tough. And I mean at beyond that. Pegasus is also stuck in his base now as well. So he's going to be running out of food really soon. He does have a couple of goats left in his main base, a couple of chickens there, but that's about it. So what is he going to do? Start farming? More favor. It's a lot on favor. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, the hunt hasn't been spotted. Recon migra migrating up there. Going to be taking a look. There are three Minotaurs on the field and plenty of hoplites now. Those on the giraffes going to stick their ground. Oh, you look at the army of Pegasus here. as well. Half of them are like one HP. Yeah, several units could go down pretty easily. Recon maybe just waiting to take the next fight. He has been using all of his uh, favor. He's gotting medium now and bite of the shark. So these Mermelos suddenly going to be quite strong. This could be a surprise. And, and Pegasus, I don't think he's really reacted to this in the slide. He's got nine. He's got eleven villages on favor. 10 villages on favor. So he's still wanting to... I, I don't know. Is he saving up for another restoration? He might be what feel he's like he has to, right? Yeah, if, you, if, you can't, if you can't build Minotaurs, just get just get restorations. That's the aim of the game. Yeah, I mean, like, how, as quickly as you can get it, right? Um, yeah. Because if, if Recon is able to afford another Shockwave, your army's probably going to die next time, right? Um, totally. We'll see. I mean, Recon playing pretty greedy, going for the Hyperion, right? Yeah, already. I mean, this is this is uh, this is straight out of the Mister the Mister book, the Mister Playbook. It's like when you get ahead, get some tech, get a town center, do something, do something. Don't stop stop building military because you know your opponents on the back foot, and you can mm -hmm. kind of force them to sit there with just a handful of units because they have to be worried if you got more stuff coming through. But looks like Pegasus is sniffing this out, and he is pushing across the map. He does have a scary army. And he's got that restoration in the bank. So 
any yeah. sort of chaos getting dropped down, there's an answer for it. But it looks like Pegasus is actually going to be running straight for that town center, straight for the main base. Restoration town center takedown is on the menu here, and it is scary for Recon. He does just now have enough for Shockwave, so he could he could buy enough time. Because Hyperion, 75%. Well, it's we see the citizens coming in to repair this one back up. Carnivora is coming down. Where is the restoration? There's that restoration unit's going to be coming through. Can he stop the Hyperion? Is the big question. It looks like the answer's no, Winston. Yeah, here comes Hyperion, and maybe we'll see an instant chaos. We do indeed. And with Resto no longer on the field. It looks like all the units are going to start getting cleaned up. So many free hits for the Mermelo Bite of the Shark. The damage starting to come down, but the Hoplites, they hold their ground. They're still alive. A fresh wave of reinforcements comes in. The Minotaurs are still on the field as well. So much damage comes in. Oh, Pegasus, what? I mean, he's, he's still sitting underneath this town center fire. For the longest time there, the Minotaur is actually tanking it. But now, Hoplites are tanking it. Jason's going down. The rest of the units are falling. Population is dropping drastically here for Pegasus. It does not look like this is working out for him. And now Recon's in the heroic age. Recon's got himself a whole amazing amount of value from that fight he's got the satyr to come through he's got heavy upgrades to come through he's got the arcus to use as well to move forward i don't see i think pegasus has got idle villages as well there's zero villages on gold at the moment zero on wood or well, one on wood he's finally moving on to that next oh, gold mine boy. but this is very very challenging for pegasus and he's got to leave his base going for hunt raids are going to start coming through very very shortly yeah, if those get spotted by some oracles or something, this could get really, really ugly. There are five oracles on the map, right? So things could get messy quick. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, Pegasus has split his economy up on two sides, right? He's got the gold on the very far corner, and then the hunt on the very other corner. This is... Oof. This could get ugly quick. But, you know, Recon, he's a... He, he's a calculated player. He's not going to do anything too crazy here to try and end the game. He knows he's in front. So how is he going to be able to... Or how? what is the correct play to safely get this game into a position which is unlosable? Is that just spam units? Get your upgrades? Wait for that next chaos? Maybe get yourself out another couple of oracles onto the map so that you get even more favor to get more satyrs or more... Uh, more more god power uses. He's getting that Sons of the Sun technology, which turns all his oracles into heroes. Such a good That's going to be a big, way. big help. It's an amazing technology. It's so strong. I used to think it was weak, and then I got it a few times, so I was like, oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I think I understand. This is a very, very good tech. But here are the heavy Mermelos now, dealing so much damage. Just a cheeky little raid there. A couple of bills go down, and I think... Mermelo should be able to get away with clever usage yeah. of the uh, Quadria Pacify and Heals, yeah. I mean, it honestly, it, so far, it just looks like Pegasus has got one unit comp in mind and one unit comp only. It's Hoplites are good, Minotaurs are good, let me just get both of those. Uh, and he's also, if you see in the uh, in the kind of favor category right now, he is 10 favor away from <laughs> having another round three. Boy, are you ready round for three. the third round of the same exact thing? Although this time, I don't think Recon's going to give it to him. His army is so much larger. I don't think you're even going to get to the TC this time. If the fight comes in now, Recon doesn't have enough favor for any sort of shenanigans with the recast of Chaos. Can't even afford the second cast of Shockwave. But pretty quickly, he should. Looks like he's just like prioritizing heroic, heroic units. He, he doesn't need He doesn't need to have any god powers, you know? Like... Mm -hmm. Aranus is so good because all of his god powers are amazing. Shockwave, mm -hmm. Carnivora, Curse. But if you've got access to Satyr, man, and your opponent's only got one or two heroes, yeah. those Satyr can just clean everything up. So he doesn't need them. He just needs those Satyr, and that's going to be enough. Yeah, and those range, those range shares take such a long time to get to now, right, with the Heroic Age. So... And I don't think we're going to see Heroic anytime soon <laughs> from Pegasus. No, I think he is no, all in on the classical. If this push fails, which I'm almost confident it will. Yeah, how do you even find value here? And he's, those Caladri are just... They're, they're, they're slowing the army down. This You can't push into this. Loses another Hoplite. He's got to turn onto that. He's trying to sneak around and get something happening. Recon's on two town oh, centers. No. Building a sneak Disaster oh, yeah. in the economy. 
What? What? I guess they're going for the giraffes. Well, not anymore. And their recon gets the first game in this set. We got a bow five on our hands. Oh, I mean, but I don't know. That, is... that game looked just like the strategy just wasn't there. The the, the dark, the, the arcade, the, the early classical age rush. Sorry. What? Like, I'm just not 100 percent sure that was all worth it. Right. It was a lot of fireworks, a lot of damage. But was it even damage? Right. Citizens are so tanky. The Caladria yeah. was retrained after the bolt. Right. So a couple of those burst heals keeping units alive. But there's so many spots for the citizens to hop into. And we saw Recon masterfully jumping into manners, jumping into outposts, jumping into the TC just to keep everyone alive at least, right? Yeah. I just don't know if it was worth it all. I mean, there was I an mean, If you take lead, a look at so... the, you take a look yeah. at the read, this is how you work out if something was worth it or not, right? This this graph we're looking at right now, all resources collected. You see Pegasus is in front on the resources from that, but it doesn't last. It doesn't last. So it's like you, you, you're, not, you, you're probably not playing for an eight minute advantage in this matchup because mm -hmm. the gold might, your opponent's still in their main base. Plus, the, it's Uranus. He's got sky passages. You're, you're, you're playing for a significant amount of damage from that attack and not being able to kill any citizens or just credit where credit's due from recon defending it beautifully means that. Pegasus is just playing a very, very difficult game behind all of that. Yeah, and like you said, I think there was some idle time after that third fight. You can see that was unforced yeah. idle time. You can see it around 11 minutes on that graph right there. That is not forced, right? That was just idle yeah. on the back of the fight with no pressure, right? Um, hey, so that's really so tricky. I mean, that could have just been the migration time, but it's a long time ah. to get to the gold on the right. <laughs> like, no, that is... No, I, I... I'm pretty but sure there. there's Wait, actually a stat. We could take a look at the timeline and look at idle villages and you'll you'll see. I think there is an idle village. There you go. There it is. Oh boy. Big, big boy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, at that point the game is probably over, right? Like the, the fight yeah. didn't work. If, if the fight doesn't work there, he's either gonna win or lose with what he had, right? Um, yeah. it was very unlikely that you somehow get into an even state um after chaos gets cast, right? Um so mm. yeah. Makes sense to just focus on the micro, try to win it with what you got. And we have the Norse matchup on Marsh. Loki. Okay. This is, yeah. funnily enough, this is a matchup that I know Recon, he doesn't like the Norse mirror. I've, mm -hmm. I've heard him say this. So I'm really interested. I, I'm surprised actually a little bit that he's opting into this because you kind of know your opponent's picking Norse on Marsh if you've got some sort of knowledge of history. Marsh has always been a Norse favored map because there's just so much hunt there and Norse players enjoy the hunt more so than most other pantheons. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Recon not liking this matchup, but he's got the Loki. So in terms of who gets to control the pace, well, the Loki player gets to control the pace. So Recon's going to have that going for him, but Thor has got those early upgrades and that kind of counters out the Loki bonus of bonus damage, if you know what I mean. So yeah. it's, you're kind of equal in military, but Thor is in front on economy. So you have to find the advantage elsewhere here with Loki. We'll see if he's going to be able to do it. I mean, that bonus damage modifier is like huge, right? It's yes. really, really potent. It goes a long, long way. So we'll see. I, I don't know. In a lot of these situations, it can be really meaningful. Um, it, it kind of invalidates some options for Thor sometimes. Yep. Um, you really do. Like you said, you really have to leverage the economy, I feel like. But we'll see if that's going to be enough here. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's all... One thing's for certain. The Norse Mirror, always messy. Players that, that, that you, you say, okay, it's time to fight. Both players have got speed on their hands, but you know, you, you get into a position, you just have to take a fight and it can be, it can be all over in an instant. I've seen, I've seen games finish in the Norse mirror as fast as five minutes. So mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> I'm not saying that's going to happen in this one, but it's, 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 it's chaos at its, at its highest. What do you think about Marsh though, as a map? Like, do you, do you like Marsh after all these years? Uh, I don't like how green it is. Is that is that uh, is that a comment that, that that's kind of on the what? fence enough? Are you in, uh, are you insulting Shrek right now? No, no, just Marsh. Okay, just, so just it's Marsh. not. It's not. It's not okay. 
You don't like how green it is? really. So it's like an aesthetic issue you have with I'm, it, not like I, a game. I'm just trying. I'm, tr I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep it. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I've got. No, I've well, got I'm opinions on. I've got map. opinions on how much Hunter map should have on it, and and the ridiculous levels of hunt that Marsh has. Yeah, is kind of. It's a. There's a lot. There's a lot of. There's a lot of hunt here. <laughs> farms but, don't yeah. exist on Marsh. If you build farms on Marsh, may as well hit that resign button. Fair enough. You heard it here <laughs> first, boys. Oh man! And then we have time. What about you? What's your what's your what's your favorite map? Go on. We're talking about Marsh. I mean, it's not that it's. I actually like Marsh. As a kid, to some degree, I love but Marsh yeah. the most, and, and, and to yep. a degree, it's sticking. Right. Yeah. I like Tundra as well, though. I like Marsh and Tundra. Tundra's a fun one because you get just. It's really open. I mean, dying can't breathe. Whoa! You get a. <laughs> you get a ton. Uh, you get a ton of, of, of hunt just in your main base, which is just, yeah, you just don't, it's fun. You just get to enjoy it. You have lots, lots of options, right? I feel like that's what makes it fun, right? Yeah. Like, there's not just one way to play, although it is a very aggressive map generally, but like, I feel like you can, you can mess with the formula more there. Whereas like a map like Alfheim, it feels like it's a lot at times more rigid in how it ends up panning out. But you know, that's, that's just me. That's just me. Nonetheless, we're going to be getting this game going very, very shortly here. And we're going to see all the chaos unfold as in the right side of the map, the blue color playing as Loki. It's a recon. And the Pegasus abuser, who's not going to be able to use Pegasus in this game. He's playing as Thor. He's in the red color as his opponent. Currently down in this series. Going to be looking to level it. But building that Dwarven Armory up to kick this one off. This has been... The stock standard for Thor for the past couple of weeks now, Winston. Mm -hmm. Has it been out for long enough now that people are just kind of used to the power that it gives and they're playing around it now? Or is it just getting out the, the this four villager advantage in the early game just still proving too much? What do you think at the moment? I, I think it's still too strong. <laughs> obviously right like it's crazy it's generating so many resources every game you look at i mean th there are a couple downsides right like you are yep. using up a lot of your natural gold really early right um yeah which it used to be an advantage of thor long term was that you had like gold but now like you kind of like use it <laughs> really quick That's right. and, like your safety is kind of like false in a sense but i don't know if it's really like that big of a deal right like you just have so many resources. You have so many options. I think it's really opened Thor up in terms of like opportunity to play cool ideas. And that's what yeah. I love about it. But you know, I think it's still just a bit good maybe. Yeah. I mean, you, you talk good. about the gold, the gold Balance issues, the construct, but it, it's right. That's right. That's right. You, you, well, there's, there's weaknesses to everything, right? Yeah. So when you, when you, you're okay. Yeah. You get all this stuff, but you have to leave your base, get a gold mine earlier than I do, which means I get to put pressure onto you. You can't do a reverse a return raid onto me and you can try and make something happen where that's concerned. But it's not just that, right? You also get a very, very big disadvantage of not being able to scout for the early stages of the game. And we did see that happen in a, in, in a game already today where one player got 17 herdables to zero. Uh, now, now getting zero herdables is is a mistake. You should always have a couple because they they spawn with them. But nonetheless, we're going to be seeing something similar here for Recon. He's already scouting around with that berserk. He's already casted his god power spy uh, into the main base of Pegasus. So he kn he knows what's coming, and he's going to be able to make a decision on it. Now, we can talk about crazy ideas of going Heimdall here, but you don't even need to do that if your opponent's being greedy here quote-unquote greedy by going for a Dwarven Army, it does give you some time to be a little greedy yourself. You can say, all right, well, maybe I can get myself some economic upgrades. Maybe I can grab that town center completely safe because I know my opponent's not going to be attacking me for an extra minute or so. So there are some options here for Recon. See what he's going to pick. He's getting his temple up, and you're going to be seeing those classical ledges coming through really, really soon. I have a very serious question. Okay. There were, for a moment, seven dwarves. There are now eight on gold. Yep. Snow White had seven dwarves. What is the name of the dwarf that got spied on here? Which who's that? Is that sleepy. do you think it's dopey or bashful, maybe? Sneezy? He's, he's sleepy. sleepy. He was he was caught sleeping on the job. That's why is he that happy or grumpy? He's being spied on. Is he dark? <laughs> no. I think he might be grumpy. Well he I mean, I'd be grumpy if I was being spied on. So Well one of them that. left. Now there's only six dwarves on the gold. 
maybe maybe that dwarf was grumpy. Are you sure? <laughs> I, yeah, he was so grumpy. Or no, now he's sleepy. Maybe I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, it was. Just, Time will tell. Working, right. He's working hard. He's you have to watch hard. the rest of the movie for that one. That's true. That's true. We're going, we're going to wait for the remake. Dopey for sure. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> oh dear. Well. I mean, no surprises in God Picks, right? Well, actually, a tiny surprise from Pegasus' side. Pegasus' side? I'm not sure. From Pegasus' side, going through Freya here. Normally, we see in this matchup four Seti from the four so that you can get out the defensive resources in Healing Spring, in yeah. the Troll, and all the other good stuff that comes from that. But going through Freya, this gives a little bit of offensive power, which maybe Recon's not going to be ready for he's going to see the Freya, so he's going to know what's coming he's going to know the valkyrie is coming but it might not be what he's planning for or what he's planned for i find this really interesting i don't know how i feel about it like i don't know if you're going to get a lot of value out of a melee myth unit right so it's like if it does come to it i don't see you getting you know three or four valks with the upgrade right like i just don't see that really no. panning out right these these hearse here from Loki just deal so much damage, right? So you don't want to get into me to, to melee range, right? You have to be ranged, generally. So we'll see if that plays. I mean, we're going to get a little bit of a rush here. Probably going to immediately cast fire as players tend to. Eh, just bait it out. Get a little poke damage here and there. Nothing too crazy. There is one interesting idea for Pegasus from going through Freya which is there is access to uh, upgrade, unique upgrade to Freya, which gives, I think it's 15% extra HP. On heroes, yeah. On heroes, it's Cess Rumnir, right? So this one, I think it's in the Great Hall. It's not the Great Hall. Uh, it's it's going to be enough to give him like the survivability to take down all the myth units which Recon's going to be spawning with his own army. Mm-hmm. So that could be the idea here from Pegasus. Yeah, RC. And we also have Thundering Coast on the table, right? Like, it becomes an option, right? Like, I don't know if you want to rush it just yet, right? It's a big favor investment. And do you want that now? Or do you want maybe, do you risk another Valk? I don't know, just because then they heal each other. Like, the gameplay around having two Valks is like, it feels like exponential growth. It feels like you can't lose. Yeah. You know you can. <laughs> it just feels good, right? It's one of those feels good plays. Um, but we'll see what that favor goes into. Usually early on in these Norse games, you have to really think about how you're going to spend your favor because it can swing really quickly. And if you spend it on the wrong thing, you can be stuck without a critical tool. Um, mm. But we'll see. One, one thing that's oh. really odd right now is how passive Recon's playing. Pegasus is I mean, kind of set <laughs> on. <laughs> Recon. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> odd for odd for not odd for recon, but odd for Loki. Odd Loki, for Loki, he wants to be aggressive, and he's the one on the defensive right now, in a big way. It's about well, it's about the time. He has more units. He's just waiting for the right moment, right? Like yeah. the the biggest thing here is you can't let the Valkyrie get damaged, right? So it's like True. you can't just go out on the map and like be oh I'm Loki, I have to play aggressive. You could lose Vils here, for example, right? So you have to play with your units at home until you're walled. Once you wall, or at least make safe some of your economy, you right can go. Ahead. And here we see bit of idle mismanagement and we see the valk just running through plenty of rc here the military slight advantage for recon if they were to take a fight yeah what's that um one, one thing that i learned early on I, I always forget it but every time i see players make these sorts of like slight idle idle diligent mistakes it's like okay every time i move my military i gotta check the idle bar every time i make a move on my military because that's the thing you're going to be doing the most of so every time I make a click, eyes eyes bounce to that that my idle military spot. Okay, nothing's there. Great, we're good. Oh, there's something there. All right, let's move my military back and, and yeah. sort it out. Oh, big fight! So we're gonna see a big yeah big fight coming through. Pegasus has been caught out. Forest oh, fire coming down. Throw an axeman. Gonna be getting some good damage. The micro starting from Recon. Troll in the back. Not gonna be doing a whole lot there, but it looks as if Recon has really caught Pegasus out in this one. Winston, I don't think that this is what Pegasus was looking for in the slice. I respawn as well. Move speed on the back so we can run down the remaining Axemen. What a wipe. This is where Loki really shines, right? It's when you have those units attacking the appropriate one. The throwing Axemen just winning the fights for Loki. Yeah. It's just so huge, right? And now we see the Dwarven Mine defensively. The Forest Fire 
He was trying to just find some damage with it, but got none. And now the military count, 60 to 2 in terms of pop. So, I don't know. <laughs> the the Goldvilles have to run. Lumpy over there has still been spotted, so he has to go back to the Dwarven Mine. Oh, no. Oh, that no. was... That was as Mr. of a fight I've ever seen from anyone else. He's just like, okay, I've decided, Rico's just coming in and saying, all right, I'm just gonna channel my inner the Mr. Move out onto the map. My enemy, enemy army is just gonna die. We're just gonna take a fight and he's just gonna die. I'm gonna have all my units after the end of it. You're, all, all of my enemies are just gonna be dead. I, you've seen it time and time again from the Mr. But Recon's showing that he can do it as well. And Pegasus, I mean, what can he do now? He's got to get himself back up something like, 15, like 30, 30 military units. He needs like 30 military units now to be back in this game. Yeah, and now because that fight was so good for Recon, you can see that favor difference, right? And even still getting some value out of these Hercers with favor. We're gonna see, we're gonna see something crazy if our hero does come into play. Although I don't think it's necessary, right? I don't think it's 100% I mean, necessary for Recon to go heroic here, but yeah. it would kind of be the safe play is to go heroic and just try something, right? Wait for that timing. We do have Thor going up with Scotty. Frost can yeah. be useful against the potential flaming weapons, maybe. Um, but I don't know. Well, you don't have to go. You don't have to go, Bragi. The order is really good. If you see your opponent hit Scardi as the Loki player, you can just cancel Bragi and go Njord, and then Frost hits. No worries. My right. my tree still, still exists the... after the Frost ends, and it's uh, totally fine. But we also I mean, the, need the, answers the... to that, right? Like you don't even need to, right? Like. We yeah. saw it in the earlier game with Grass, right? Like, localized counters to global buffs can be countered by spreading, right? So exactly. you could just have the RC on the back and the Hercers on the front, and it's like, okay, what are you going to frost, right? And I think Recon's in a position where it doesn't really matter. If only a third of his army gets frosted, he's still going to win the game, right? Yeah, I mean, he's... I mean, maybe, maybe half of his over. army getting frosted, maybe maybe three quarters of his army getting frosted might be enough because yeah. of flaming weapons. And I mean, I think maybe it. the whole army could get frosted, <laughs> right? <laughs> he could lose the entire duration uh, as long as it doesn't get cheesy and he doesn't get like perfectly walled in into like some AOE shit and stuff. But I doubt, yeah. I doubt it. Right? It's just not going to happen. Yeah. There's a, there's the ultra safe way to go right now for recon would just be grab town centers, just grab the center town centers. Push that economy up and and just sit back and and say, great. Now what are you gonna do? I, you, the big advantage which Thor has in this matchup is that early game. You get the four villager lead with the dwarven armory. That's kind of it. Sure, you get dwarf dwarves, you get the dwarven gold mine, which is pretty big. But uh, in terms of sort of tangible military edges, that's all of that edge is gone. For Pegasus it's all on the recon side of things. So recon doesn't have to do anything here. He can just sit back and just wait for. Pegasus to kind of want to leave if he if he wants to play the safe route, but I mean the fun route is for him to just go for the jugular and go for Achilles. Oh, he needed another one. He needed another mine at home, which is obviously a strength of Thor. But now yep. down to five favor. This next fight could be really one sided, right? We're gonna get some key upgrades. I don't know if we're gonna get more battle board, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Do you even do you even want to get battle ball when your opponent's gone through Scotty though? Because you got frost giants and the frost giants you just, just freeze though. the battle ball and then and then they've got frost giants in the fight and you don't have any myth units. Is it better? This is a genuine question. I actually don't know the answer. Is it? Well, do you reckon it's gonna have more? Do you can have like four just, battle ball right now? Right? Yeah, but but let, let me finish the point. Okay. Do you reckon it would be better to just get a whole bunch of trolls, which can obviously snipe down the. Frost Fair Giants enough. before they even get close to him. Just bright brain just ticking right now. No, it makes sense. I think I think that makes sense. And people kind of forget that like the the myth units scale per age, right? Yep. So those trolls are like really good, <laughs> and they're really yep. cost effective later on, right? Especially with the upgrade. Um, I know Mista is a huge fan of always training up trolls and heroic, right? He says it's as good as a boar, right? Is what his claim is. Um, I don't know yeah. how hundred percent if I agree, but. I mean, it's Mr. <laughs> so I don't know if I can disagree and be right about it, right? So we'll see how that Sometimes you have to, sometimes you, you can question anything. Like, if it, that doesn't mean that, yeah. <laughs> you see, you, you, I, think, I think Mr. gets a little bit more credit than, than, than the average Joe does <laughs> when he says something like that. <laughs> All right, we got the 
throwing axemen mask coming forward. Oh, the, the, the throwing axemen have got themselves that burning pitch upgrade applied yeah. to them now, so they Sweet. are going to be the removing army. buildings. The army going to need the frost here, probably, right? Oh, 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 he's pretty cavalry really unupgraded. Wait, are those hard oh. to Don't think so. I don't think that's medium, but I don't think it's going to matter in a second. The battle board are just going to toss them all with like a little shock wave for free and everything goes down. Yeah, you, it's, we see this time, time. Everyone loves their Archibalds. And, and it's, it's not going to be enough here as Recon gets the second fight, the second win of that fight, and Vegas just has to tap out. It's 2-0, to look zero, at Winston. Fight. Look at that fight. I, I mean, just, I'm not... Yeah. That fight. That was, <laughs> that, that did is did Recon even lose a unit in this game? Are we, are we kidding? This was so dominant. I actually kind of want to see the KD. Can we look at that? Like, how many units did... I think it's it might be under like 20. Military. 24. Okay. He got 24. It's it, yeah. admirable effort considering it seemed like Recon just wiped the army mm -hmm. like twice over. Yeah. And you can see like you can see the, the economic edge that you get from Thor here in this graph. But in the end, it doesn't make up for the fact that. Well, you still have to take good fights. You still have to micro well. You're still fighting against someone whose military is effectively equal to yours without having those upgrades just because of that bonus uh, mm -hmm. damage that is applied. So if he's microing, he's going to be getting the same amount of sort of damage output as you. And yeah, just getting caught out once and it's it's over. That's the Norse war. That's how Norse works. You can't, you got to you got to be taking the fights perfectly. And I guess in that moment, I guess it didn't. Gonna have to go back to the drawing board here. The next game, gonna be waiting yeah. to see what the gods are gonna be, which gods are gonna be picked here. But Kalauga's the map. Pegasus, he's got a reset here. Uh, he's lost on his main god, Zeus. He's lost on the god, which most people say is one of the strongest right now. He does have a couple of really strong gods remaining in his pool, but so too does Recon. What would you go in this next? Well, we're gonna see Sky versus Hades. Like, we don't get to, we don't get to guess. versus Hades, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, that's where you're going to go. Big brain. Big <laughs> brain. brain. The big brain. That's me. that's me. Look at that prediction skill. I don't hear any clapping, boy. What's going on? This is, this is why they pay you the big, the big bucks. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Girl Lauger is an interesting map, right? Oh, we're diving right in. Oh, oh. I thought that was the game. Oh, I got so baited. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, well, we are seeing that the other series mm -hmm. here, Reedy versus Player, very, very close. I mean, honestly, I'm excited about seeing the, those two players playing Redo. And uh, just to slide, slide aside, Redo, uh, he, he is one of the top players of kind of old. He's one of those guys that whenever he showed up, he was kind of, you know, age of mythology, kind of a smaller game. You'd, you'd play and then some, some top players would play and they'd stop and then they'd play and then they'd stop. And every time Redo came in, it was kind of like the aura around this guy was kind of a little bit like oh this guy's so good and player as well similar kind of vibe they just come in and they just dominate when they want to play and right now it's like the most kind of the the deepest talent around age mythology i feel like every player in this tournament has got something some sort of a case to like get deep make a deep run in this tournament yeah uh, and we are seeing a lot of these these series go in the distance so I mean, I'm excited. Hopefully, Pegasus can kind of get his uh, his 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 self into gear right now. Because yeah. I mean, he's staring down the barrel of having to play a best of three, which you want to avoid if you can. Yeah, right. This is our final best of five of the day. After this series, we're going to go into two more best of threes after this, but that will be in the loser bracket, which we'll take a look at once we get there. For the time being, though, we have Recon versus Pegasus, the best of five. I mean, Recon just looks so in control. It's kind of reminding me of that Road to Red Bull qualifiers where, I mean, honestly, him and Mystic kind of looked untouchable until that set against Vortex, right, for Recon in the qualifiers, right? So on the final day, we start to saw, we, we saw some of the cracks in Recon's armor there. Um, and we're trying mm. to see, do you think Pegasus can do it? Do you think he can take three games? Well, if I just look at the God Pool, I think that every single one of these gods has got the potential to win the other gods, but right. just in terms of god strength, it, that's not enough. 
you're not going to get a win here just based on sort of strategy you prepared or a or a sort of a like strong unit you've got to do something smart in the game to get an advantage and then you have to hold that advantage and convert it and you have to do that three times in a row against yeah. recon that's going to be talent that's going to be challenging yeah like like you're saying i could see i just disagree on one point i could see gaia winning here on Karlager, potentially yeah. right it could happen Hades is quite strong but you know gaia has a lot of play we'll see if pegasus is doing some of these kind of like interesting build orders that gaia has on these maps um we saw Vortex kind of take a look into one of them, but not really have that solid build order that we're seeing some players come out with recently um, mm -hmm. with the Gaia changes and the guild. Um, but Raw and Alfheim feels like, okay, you can maybe beat Isis there. But yeah. Freyr on Tundra against Odin. I'm going to say it. That feels dicey to me. Unless uh, unless you're even I'm, thinking of a swap to Raw on Tundra. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Yeah, I'm not picking... I'm not picking. I, I, I'm I'm picking Alfheim with uh with with Freya there. The reason doing, being okay. is, this is the this is the Mister's pick. And if I if I'm if I'm following <laughs> what anybody does, uh, I'm going okay. If Mister thinks that this god is good on Alfheim, I'm picking him on Alfheim. Where th okay, that's what's fair happening. Enough, yeah. Fair enough. And that was an explosive game too. That was a really fun. Yeah. Game. yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, interesting. But he also didn't he win a qualifier game with ISIS on Alfheim? Yes, yeah. but he didn't play oh. against Freya. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, but then again, like, we, 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 Mr. can win with anything, can't he? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I don't think it's too worthwhile looking into what Mr. wins with and what he picks sometimes. It's not necessarily translatable to the to the plebeians. Everyone rank two and below. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Nonetheless, uh, we're gonna, we might be getting this game on the road very, very shortly. Gaia versus Hades on Kerlauga. Getting into it. It's match point for Recon, but Pegasus, he is going to have to do the impossible here. Reverse sweep is what he's going to have to aim for. He's playing as Gaia in the top of the map and Recon in the blue color with the Hades here. It's Kerlauga. It's water. It's hybrid. It's shallows. Winston, this is my favorite water map. Yeah. What do you think? I find it stressful. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, maybe that's it, the good part, right? But that's a good part for me. I think it's one of those maps where, the, to me at least, the, the biggest value in the water, and this is going to sound dumb, is just that the free myth units on the water mm. can be useful at times, right? Um, especially yeah. the ones that can get a little bit of range in mythic, right? Like suddenly you just have this weird option, right? Um, True. I know that it's obviously useful for the dark uh, for the archaic age. You need it in the build order. You need to play, right? But like that's where I think it gets the most interesting is in those interactions and how like uncomfortable the water can make you feel. But to be honest, it doesn't always pan out that way. This is a very aggressive map. You see a lot of raiding. You see a lot of mobility a lot of times. Um, but these two sims are going to be pretty solid at playing more turtle style. So this might be a bit of a slower paced game. We might see some second TC, but it's really exposed these TCs you build. So yeah. it, it's tricky. It's just a hard map to play. feels very technical. Um, feels like you need to have a strategy and a build down pat in order to play it effectively, which is why I don't feel comfortable playing it a lot <laughs> because that is not my forte. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a wing it and see what happens kind of player. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I lose to timings. I feel like I'm most like this. Yeah. It's, it's so true. I, for, for anybody wanting to get into to mythology and, and learn these water maps, some of it comes down to the fact that you can actually, you can avoid playing the water to some degree. degree. All you have to kind of, all you have to do is get yourself a dock, get yourself a couple of fishing ships out, and then you can play all onto the land on a map like Kerlauga. That's why it's so good for me is I don't have to worry about doing a, a really technical huge fish boom i can just get a handful of fishing ships out get a decent advance time we're talking like four minutes 30 seconds into the game four minutes 45 seconds into the game and i can just build my units like i'm playing normally but i have a little bit more fishing economy to work with so it's while it can you can take it the really technical route there is somewhat of a simple way to go if you want to put the effort into just learning that tiny little change in your build order to get out those fishing ships yeah, what are you thinking of in terms of TC play? Do you think we just see TC from both players or no? Well, 
it's challenging, right? It all comes down to where the gold mines are spawning. For Recon, he's got a nice gold mine behind his town center, but it is close to the water. And Pegasus is there. He's got that dock. So Pegasus can get some ships in. He can get some units around. He can, If, if he's got full control of that bottom lake there, he can kind of circle around and, and play around that that gold mine of, uh, of Recon's behind the town center. But I mean, what other options do you really have with Hades. You do have Ares. We haven't seen the Cyclops yet. We did see Cyclops in the qualifiers. We're really trying to make this happen. <laughs> I mean, I'll go sleep. Let's just, just ask, just ask Soup. He tells you. Ask Soup. He, tell, he, showed, he showed how good those are. Uh, those I'm, not saying it's are. A, I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm I want to say, I think, yeah, I think that's what I'm waiting to hear, right? It's less of it's, it's possible. It's more, I want it. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Let me want something. Let, let my wants be. <laughs> let my desires. Fair enough, boy. I mean, if it was me, I would I would I would go Aries right now. That's all that's all I'm saying. I would do it. I would do I, it. Oh, and it's Athena. Oh, I'm gonna cry. That's fine. We see yeah. uh, funnily enough. Pegasus has gone Leto here, not Oceanus. This is pretty of a rare god. Mine, it's super I'm, awkward. It's not so, it's not. Like, it's bad, right? It's just awkward. You're absolutely right when you say that. It's awkward, right? Like, the 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 god tech where you get... <laughs> you can see how much Leto I actually play. The god tech where you get armor on your unit. on your Vice's Revenge. Yes, that one. <laughs> that tech, fantastic. And I think it carries the god really hard. Yeah. The automatons, I feel like I get mixed value with. Now, against Greek, you can do a bit better, right? Because you have, like, so much... There's only so many heroes, right? So it's like there's opportunity to really get value out of mass automaton because that's really where they they shine. They're really good defensively, right? Because if you win the fight, you just get to rebuild your myth mass. So there's a lot of opportunity here for it to be really good. But I feel like what makes it really awkward is spider layer feels so hard to get value out of, yeah, right? It feels so it hard to get value out of. It's so cheap to recast. Have you played with it much? Like you can yeah. get. You just keep casting it. It's like it's just free, basically, to a degree. Um, I, I played. And it's still I played a to get value out of. I played a free for all, um, where uh, an opposing player went Leto, and he literally spent the entire game putting spider layers around his town center where his king was sitting in, and I went mm -hmm. to try and kill it and I lost all my army. So there's your uh, there's your use case. Recon, in a stunning we'll twist, has trained a Pegasus. Just letting you know. Uh, Pegasus or Pegasus got a chance. Why do you think Pegasus, Pegasus has called himself Pegasus? That's what I'm saying. It's a twist. It's like it, finally you know? we see a Pegasus, but who did it? Recon did it first. Just saying. Oh, That's but there's right. terms on the field, so Pegasus got to watch out. <laughs> I mean, all of this talk of uh, -oh. uh, he's like, no, only I can have this unit. <laughs> <laughs> he's dancing with it. He's dancing with it. Get him out of there. I mean. It's it's funny we see, like you're saying Leto automatons like they can be good but the the reason for this one is the the tech giving you the bonus pierce armor and I yeah. think the reason Pegasus is going for this is just he knows he's playing against Hades and he knows he needs that extra pierce armor to deal with the tox toxodes and all the the uh, damage that can come and through the with those. Is here, for example, once he has the tech, it could come into play. Yep, and there it is. Well, I'm wrong. Volcanic Forge. Oh, I got it mixed up. It's, 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 it's a hard tech to remember the name. Who plays Leto? <laughs> I'm just saying. It's, I didn't remember the name, so I just believed you when you said it. I thought like, it was. I'm, I'm a rookie. Saying. I'm a rookie. Someone, uh, yeah, fire me. It's over. It's okay. <laughs> it's, okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's a hard tech to remember, but it's a very good, very, very good tech, right? It makes yeah. Leto, like, potentially very strong, like you're saying, against these defenses, but the Termout looking to take some value. They're going to be some... Wait, that's a ballsy spot. I love it, right? So now it's just saying, chase me, chase me, chase me. The danger, the danger about this is well, your opponent, your opponent knows where they are, but it turns out that Recon didn't. Does manage to get one off light kill there. Bit of the dancing happening from Pegasus. He's got to really focus on this, which does really stop him from being able to do a whole lot of other stuff. But it looks like he's trying to get to the heroic age at the moment. Yeah, really? I mean, honestly, I'm super impressed with what Pegasus has been able to put together here. Like, this is Gaia's economy, obviously, doing tons of work. Um, this is a huge term of mass, lots of value. 
And the Hoplite's going to be kind of weak in this position. We're even seeing Crenellations teched in, so needs to find some option against these cavalry units just poking Holy his main gold. Six and automatons queued up for Pegasus. I was like, okay, well, what are we going to see? Maybe he would, I thought maybe he would, saving all that favor up, maybe go through Rhea, and then you can get a huge amount of like behemoth push while also getting that Oracle mail tech to get even more yeah. stuff. But there is the option. This is kind of wild. Because the automatons, they're going to get shadow tech right when they go heroic like you don't yeah. often see someone be fast heroic into automatons right but like yeah. let's see how strong these guys become right like this might be really solid and look and look at spider you can cast it again already it's yeah. so it's so, so cheap. it's so available right i mean obviously the first couple casts are, are free right but after that i think it's only up by like 10 favor per cast i actually forget the number but it's 15 or lower um uh, this is and there it is, is. the recast it's just gonna keep camping the gold well of course why not i mean you can't leave if you want to if you want to come and face these terror and chase them out this is so f I, I can feel i feel recon right now this is such a tough position to play he goes the and just the poke in now. poke back poke in poke back and it just keeps on going on and on and on and on Yep, it's constant micro. You have to be paying attention, but Pegasus with a huge lead now economically with Gaia. Uh, now the automatons are out. I, I, I was I was about to suggest that, that there's a world where you actually drop a second temple in order to train those automatons out onto the map. I, I know. I love that he hasn't showed them as well, by the way. Like, he's not yeah. showing the automaton switch. The curse comes out immediately. Good value there. A couple. Oh, oh, oh! The spiders get in their value. <laughs> that was that was five units. That was a classic. I don't. I don't. I. I. I can't. I can't get words out at the moment. That was a classical age god power. He got five kills. Curse heroic age god power. But automatons are out. They're going to be able to join into this fight. There is an Ajax which will clean them up pretty quickly. But I don't think uh, it's going to be enough. Money isn't enough. We're seeing the Achilles get trained though as soon as those automatons get shown. And that's kind of the weird, where the timing is awkward. Like, you almost want to be diving with them at that time. But it's interesting. Automatons are actually a very good defensive unit. If you lose them yep. all in your opponent's base, what does it really do? Look at that! Three favor! I knew it was low. Look at, look at that cost! So does good. he have the, the recast? I think he might I have the recast yeah, relic. Yeah, you can use it. Oh, no, no, I think it's just three. It's three. It's three, just three. three. It's just cheap. That's what it is. It's just that that's cheap. What that's what I'm saying. You could just yeah. keep throwing it. He should just throw it down. It's free. He has three favor. You can do it right now. Think about that. Think about it. Yeah, but where, 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 where do you want to put it? I think I think you want to start thinking about putting it onto the gold mine because that's where the next big fight, where you want to take the next big fight if you're the Gaia player is on your opponent's gold mine if it's at all possible. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you needed to think about defending your own gold mine. Yeah. Now we're getting the trees built up as well. Yeah, these, there these, it is. These Hesperids trees are... Oh, is that... Is that what I think it is? Are we, are we going to see the Argo? You think we're going to get the Argo? Oh, yeah. We're getting the Argo. This is the rarest unit in the game. You never see this. I've seen it once. Once before. So far. One time in the couple of months that retail's been out. I, I played against time. it yesterday. Not even kidding. There you go. That's Mr. one, one time for both of us. That's it. It was on uh, Anatolia. I was in a Poseidon mirror, and my Scylla got taken out by a by an, an Argonaut. Oh, and the, the snake Argo. from Recon is the, as the Argo coming through. Look at this damage it does. Yeah. That is a sad Nareed Winston as he gets taken. I love it. Let's go, the Argo. Wait, it's on the wrong side to deal with the Atom... Oh, what actually... It's actually kind of smart against the automatons as well, right? Because he's gone for just making the play. If he gets value out of the Argo on automatons, I mean, that, that, that's going to make my life. We'll see how this goes, though. The curse, not an option. We do still have Resto. We should be using the spiders off cooldown, would be my only critique. <laughs> the rest of this, uh, yeah. thing, let's kiss. That is a lot of units. And they're going to trade pretty well against the hoplites overall, but the stun comes out. The front line, is it going to be enough? Does he just have enough mass to deal with Resto here? Yeah, these automatons tank for so 
long Winston. They're so cheap and they're, they're worth so much more than a Hoplite in these fights. You see the Achilles get taken down. There's no Ajax left in this fight. Those Terma, they might not be doing a whole lot to the, the Hoplites here, but Townsend gets completed and Recon retreats back. Does Pegasus have the time right now to take his automatons and repair back up those autom the, the, those dead automatons? There. It looks like he's not going to go for it. Instead, he's going for the gold mine. He doesn't have any crush damage, so the TC is just going to have to be there. Meanwhile, the gold going to get starved out. Have to find and he knows he knows where the other gold mine is. You can see it down the, the, the east, southeast of the map. He finds those villages oh. over there. Cause his oracle is in that corner. He's known about it this whole time. Recon, he's in a difficult position right now. He's going to have zero gold. You even see some automatons getting repaired back up underneath the town center. I love it. Here it comes. the troop. Here's the crush damage he was missing. He's remaxed these, and now he's going to go for the repairs under the TC. Just try and make this happen, Captain. The Arcus have retreated back to here. The Shades, the memory of what once was the army, but the Hoplites have been hiding away, waiting for the opportune moment. And now we see the fight. Achilles is going to try and deal with all these Mythian units, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. The Arcus trying to get their value. Actually, it might be enough for got... Recon here. And now we've got the scary units coming, Winston. Peltas, top light Peltas. We've seen it before. We're going to see it again, and it's going to keep happening to these Atlantean players. It's such a tough unit composition to deal with here. And now we're seeing Pegasus trying to take in the Contarius. He has a lot of units queued up on him. You can see his economy is absolutely stonking, but he's got to buy his time to get all these units out. Which should be okay in terms of at least having some mobility in these fights because right now it's just static and like you said You do not have the stats here and it kind of looked like for a moment Pegasus had that glimpse But maybe overextending a bit under the TC thinking all the army was dead But honestly great play from recon to hide those hoplites in the TC and pop out with that surprise Decent damage on the back there the Population looking so good for recon Scylla looks like it got a lot of value on the north pine. And and this Indeed. is the game plan, right, for Hades. The game plan is just kind of survive. Yeah, and if you get the gold mine, get everything sorted out, your oh. army just gets so strong. Pegasus is trying to get make a raid happen here, but he's going to lose all of those turn. Although that being said, the turn are kind of a waste of population right now for him. He needs to get into those premium units. The Contarius, yeah. the Arcus, yeah. get out some Stymphalian birds. He's only got three oracles out on the map at the moment that's not going to be enough at all he needs spider lair he needs to catch it now more spider lair i'm <laughs> oh, just kidding obviously and now the contarius revealed going to be quite strong here he does have those cheaper contarius with there he's going to be pushing hasn't got, forward he hasn't got the tech he hasn't got the tech in just yet for the for the cheap contarius oh he doesn't he's got a pre queued he wants it. Have to secret. Okay. I guess he doesn't have the, the favor, like you said, right? That's what you're just talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Now Recon's on the retreat, but it still kind of looks like he's got population. So where are the rest of his military units? They were at the fortress in the south, and now they're going to be meeting up here. And that's too many units. You have to retreat from this fight. If you're Pegasus, and retreat he does. And this is where it starts to get weird, right? What's your yeah. follow up here? Um, well, I mean, I've seen. I've seen. Recon take Poseidon into the deep late game as Gaia. Because what, what happens is, is you get access to roundabout and effective. Maybe like 15 to 30 population, depending on how you calculate how much a dryad is worth, right? So that gets you that bonus over your opponent in the in the kind of late game to hold. But in order to get there, that's that's the challenge right now because this army of recon is strong. Yeah, it is quite strong. Meanwhile, the TC will get spotted on the right. Finally, the Scylla going down. The Hero Arcus are there. We did see a big Contarius loop as well, idling some of the golds here. But the Hoplites are hot on the heels, so we're going to have to get that raid value in in order to do much. 
And, and right now it looks like it's it's three town centers coming up for both, or the third town center coming up for both of the players on both of the, the corners of the map. Both being spotted by each other here. The, these Contarians, they're looking for raids, but he's just, he's not going to be able to get them. He's just got to keep running around and distracting and trying to get tech coming out, trying to get himself to population. But we already see Artemis coming through for recon. And Argo, no! Ah, Argo gets, Argo got value, I'm happy. <laughs> got a dryad. The Argo, no. <laughs> you can rebuild him. He's kind of cheap. It, oh, we're seeing him being he rebuilt. Is. He's kind of cheap. 200, 200 wood for favor. That's only a touch more than a than a trireme, right? Like 150 resources versus 240-ish. You get a hero unit on the water. Not bad. Good value. Not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to agree. It's good value. It's good value. <laughs> But yeah, this is the thing, right? Earthquake comes through, and then what? Where? Gold mines are kind of running thin as well. There's, we didn't talk about it, but there's only there was only three large gold mines a player on, on on this map, and the map is tiny. So trade route from the top corner down to the bottom town center, it's not going to get you that much gold. It's a really thin map. Yeah, and the players have been relying on fish, so the food eco going into mythic here isn't like incredible right like we don't have massive farm setups at this stage still where we're nope. hearing the sound come in as those farms are being built and that will be necessary though in order to go mythic and make caravans you need a lot of resources right it's an expensive transition yeah. so both players probably going to be looking into solutions that don't have it going late just yet it's interesting still having poseidon secret queued up but not having Wait. enough resources is so painful it's a very relatable problem that pegasus is having there <laughs> yeah. It's just the I mean the other thing is that with Pegasus here, I'm surprised to see him not go into this. He's trying to advance to the next stage, but he's running out of gold. Or his idle gold village or somewhere, I'm not sure. Uh and now he's clicked up. Now he's going through Atlas. But this implode coming, if he can get it off, can really shift this game. So Recon's gotta be careful. Oh, he drops main, the earthquake in. How is it? How's the damage? Oh, we were not prepared. We were not prepared. No, no, oh, sir. No. Everything dies. There, is, there are literally an attacks going on all over the map, but Recon doesn't care. He sees the main base. Oh. He sees how much resource damage he can actually get done here by killing off all those citizens as well. It, oh, uh, I think the Atlas was denied as well so yeah so yeah. pegasus has to restart that one it's gonna be a whole two minutes before he gets anything there and pegasus is in complete scramble mode right now as recon he's oh, got we've full got control he's got both of the Ezra's trees as well that's crazy that's such a big swing here and now recon's just in such a powerful potent position look at the pop 232 to 137 it looks like pegasus's hopes here kind of collapsing yeah, what can he just do? Playing, he's just playing out of his mind. What can you do when you're playing against someone who's playing at this high of a level? Like, mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no chinks in the armor. The, 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 he's just defending everything that Pegasus throws at him. There's one last hope for Recon. Sorry, for Pegasus in this game. It's implode, killing off the entire, the entire army twice over. Yeah, and we're not even going to get to it. We're not no. even going to get to it because he queued Pegasus up Hyperion says. and it got cancelled again, I think, by the TC yeah. going down. And oh my gosh, what a game. Boy, what a set. Recon what a looking set. I mean, indestructible, it's just, right? It's just a masterclass. It's just this is what you expect from the semi finalist of Red Bull. This is just how this game is played at the top level. And, and Pegasus here, I, I think he put up a good fight, but uh, he just could not quite get recon enough on the back foot here in this game to to convert with those with those term he's using them beautifully but it just didn't end up yeah it didn't end up converting and now he has to go and find his way through the losers bracket yeah it was crazy yeah and it's just one of those things it felt like every little detail for recon kind of panned out even though that early game for pegasus was really solid right we saw the term attack we saw the spider layer um, going down and getting value, right? It was really cool. It just didn't quite pan out. Well, we've uh, we've got some choices here, Winston. I'm not mm -hmm. sure which one you're feeling like doing. 
The the redo versus player game is currently in game four, and Shelty and Grass in the losers bracket currently in the drafting stage. I'm kind of excited to see some redo player action. What are you feeling? Sure, let's do it. Let's make it happen. We're gonna jump in to a uh, a cheeky little a game four situation. redo player situation here. Yeah. yeah. These guys are some good players. These guys are some of the best. Redo's mm -hmm. actually been rank one on on the leaderboard for several times to several times over, uh, consistently going up, uh, getting knocked down, going back up, getting knocked down. You know, he's he's got that level, but he is looking like he is currently in that one to two position. He's got to win this next game. I don't know what's happened so far. I don't know what the draft's been, but this is going to be a uh, this is this is going to be an important game. Obviously, an important game for him to win. Otherwise, he might find himself having to uh, to play one of these players who's already been playing very very well, but hasn't quite been able to make it happen thus far. If if Rudy loses, does he play against Pegasus? Or does he play against? I'm not sure. We'd have to see the lower bracket to know. Yeah. I don't know. Um, and let's see. We got Redo. and he's going to be playing versus Pegasus. We just got confirmation there, so. We'll see how that pans out. Recon, though, must be feeling good, right? Onto the quarterfinals. Oh, and here's that lower bracket. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yep. this is uh, that's going to be spicy. I mean, Pegasus is going to be feeling like, well, now he gets to that. now because, funnily enough, and, and this might not be a good thing. It might be a good thing. I don't know. But in losing three to zero in this sort of a format, if you're a if the other players, they have a long series, you you get the rest. You get to watch the you get to watch them play. You get to see how they play. You get to learn a whole bunch about it while that's going on. So, while it's not going to feel great for Pegasus, he can take a little bit of uh, solace in that fact that he's got that extra little bit of a break before he has to play. 